Welcome to this video on the Yashica FXD Quartz camera. Back in the 1980s I used a Yashica FXD Quartz as my main camera. I had bought the Yashica, as I suspect quite a few people did, as I wanted a contacts but could not afford one. Something that still seems valid today with the second hand price of contacts. I may have overcompensated a bit then. I had a retro 1980s day recently and took the Yashica FXD out to shoot some film in New Brighton which I suspect has not changed much since the 1980s. I have included some of the pictures I took and will offer some observations on the difference between the Yashica and Contax camera bodies. The Yashica FXD Quartz was an aperture priority automatic exposure camera with manual override aimed at the amateur market. It is a manual focus camera that has centre weighted metering. It takes lenses of the Contax Yashica line made by Carl Zeiss, Yashica and other manufacturers. The Yashica camera bodies were entry level cameras to complement the Contax camera bodies. The FXD Quartz is the companion model to the Contax 139. Introduced in 1980, the camera has a manual film winder and a rewind crank for film rewind. The film speed range is 25 to 1600 ASA in one third of a stop increments. Metering is centre weighted metering only. The range of shutter speeds is from 11 seconds to 1 1000th one of a second in automatic mode and one second to one thousandth of a second in manual mode. The shutter speeds are quartz controlled and stepless. Shutter flash sync is one one hundredth of a second. An electronic cable release can be attached to the custom socket. Exposure compensation of plus or minus two stops is available in one third of a stop increments. The main controls on the Yashica FXD quartz are the film winder, the exposure counter, the shutter release and combined mode selector and shutter speed dial. The hot shoe with extra flash ready pin. The film speed dial and exposure compensation control. The rewind crank. On the back of the camera are the viewfinder cover, the memo holder, the cable release socket, The exposure compensation dial release button. On the front of the camera are the lens release at the top of the lens mount. The combined exposure check button and AE lock and self timer switch. Electronic self timer LED. On the bottom of the camera is a film rewind release. a tripod socket and the battery compartment that takes two LR44 batteries. There are also connections for a motor drive. When the film has been wound on the shutter can be fired using the shutter release. The shutter speed is set by rotating the shutter speed wheel. A is for aperture priority automatic, X is 1 100th of a second flash sync speed and D is for long exposures. The film speed is set manually by holding down the exposure compensation release button and rotating the film speed ring to show the desired film speed next to the orange X1 mark. In automatic mode, exposure compensation is set by rotating the film speed dial while holding down the exposure compensation release button on the back, i.e. by changing the film speed. Compensation range is plus or minus two stops in one third of a stop increments. Pressing the exposure check button causes the display in the viewfinder to light up. Rotating the exposure check button clockwise to the AEL position activates the AE lock. This locks the shutter speed in use only. The camera has an electronic self timer. This is activated by rotating the exposure check lever clockwise to the ST position. The self timer starts when the shutter release is pressed.
To rewind the film, press the rewind release on the bottom of the camera and then rotate the rewind crank until the film is back in the cartridge. A contact round diopter lens can be mounted in the viewfinder cover. The cable release socket is used to connect to contact's electronic cable release and all the compatible accessories. The Yashica FXD Quartz uses the contact cable release S or cable release L type cable releases. In automatic mode with a contact or Yashica flash attached that supports a second pin on the hot shoe, the camera automatically switches to 1 one hundredth of a second flash sync speed. There is no TTR flash metering support. The viewfinder illustration from the brochure is shown here. The viewfinder displays the shutter speed. There is also an overexposure indication and a flash ready indication. In comparison with the Contax 139, the Yashica FXD Quartz lacks the PC sync socket, TTR flash metering, interchangeable focusing screens, multi exposure support, low battery indication, support for a data back, and display of the aperture in the viewfinder. The Ashika FXD Quartz has a slightly lower film speed range. In terms of camera modes and shutter speed ranges, the two cameras are the same. In terms of build quality, the Contax models are typically better built and slightly heavier. The viewfinders on the Contax models are also rather brighter, which aids focusing with fast lenses. Of the missing features, these are typically things that may be important for certain types of photography, but not all types. So it may be important for your style of photography or may not matter at all. The brighter viewfinder in the contacts can make a difference to the quality of images as it helps to enable a more precisely focused image in some circumstances. Although the viewfinder in the Ashika is a pentapism of reasonable quality. This is arguably the only bit worth paying extra for if you do not need the extra features on the contacts. This comparison probably holds true generally when comparing the Ashika and contacts models of a similar period. The leatherette on the Ashiger FXD, like contacts of the same period, degrades badly and has been replaced on this camera. The degradation can be seen on the winder. The Ashiger FXD course supports a magnifier or right angle finder being fitted on the viewfinder. It can be used with the Auto Macro Bellows PC. There are two winders available for the camera which connect to the bottom of the camera a dedicated Ashiger winder and the Contax 139 winder. A wide range of accessories connect to the cable release socket including infrared controllers and radio controllers. I would be careful to find one in good condition if considering buying one, and it is likely that any would need servicing and recovering at least, given their age. The cost of any significant work on these cameras may make them less of a budget option than buying a Contax nowadays. My original Yashi Graphics D Quartz was all black. Unfortunately I dropped it, and these cameras don't bounce well. I quite enjoyed uh, going back and shooting with the FXD Quartz again. It's a nice simple camera that works. I have added some pictures taken on my retro 1980s day of photography, along with comparison shots taken on a Yashica lens and a Contax lens. Unless otherwise stated, all shots were taken on the Yashica ML lenses. I did have some problems scanning this film, as the film came back rather curved and didn't scan particularly well.